Good morning, Deacon Tim here. Um, after just celebrating uh, All Saints Day on Monday, I thought I'd talk a little bit about saints and sainthood. Um, first of all, as I said in a homily some time back, everyone who makes it to heaven is a saint. But then we also have canonized saints. And those are the saints I certainly were most familiar with. Those are, are some of the people we certainly celebrated but on Monday, but it's All Saints Day. So we're celebrating all those. You know, I'm hopeful that, as I said in my homily back then, that my mother and father are two that were celebrated on Monday because I'm hoping by this time they are in heaven and they have left purgatory. But as far as canonization of saints, the first canonized saint was St. Ulrich of Augsburg, and that was in 993. Before then, saints were pretty much appointed. There was no big process to go through. And, but St. Ulrich went through a process. That process has been updated and changed and tweaked over the years until we have what we have now. But St. Ulrich in 993 was made a saint by Pope John the 15th through the canonization process. And that process, we have some people in Ohio, we have one especially that in Canton, Ohio, um, Rhoda Wise, that is going through the process as of now. And she has made it past the first step, which is servant of God. To become a servant of God, someone, first it's five years usually after your death, it can be waived that five-year period. But the reason there's five years is because it takes that long to put together all this information. There's a lot of interviewing going on and, and those things, all these things about the virtuous life that they've lived. And so all of those things then go to the bishop. The bishop, if he thinks it is, and with his group that helps him with these things, if they think that this person is has lived such a holy and virtuous life that they should move on to the next step, then a box is sent with all of the materials trying to prove this. It is sent to the Vatican. And then a group of people will then look at those things and decide if this person should be considered a servant of God and if they should move on to the next step. And that is looking at this, if they've lived a life of heroic virtue, if that is then decided that this person lived, then the next step is to become blessed. And to become blessed, a miracle has to be proven in this person's name. And it isn't, and, and a lot of people I think are, are a little confused on that part. They think that it should be a miracle that was performed while they were living. But that's not what they're looking for because while they were living, those miracles, as all miracles really are, are through God, are through the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So these are miracles that can be proven where someone has prayed to that person asking to intercede for them with God. And that then this thing, whatever it might be, it might be a healing from a, a disease. It could be all kinds of different things, but it has to be proven. And again, there's going to be a lot of research to, to decide if that miracle truly happened in this person's name. And if that is found to be true, they are then called blessed and they move on to the next step, which would be sainthood or canonization. And again, another miracle has to be proven. Sometimes that second miracle is waived by the Pope in certain circumstances. But that is how someone becomes a saint. I hope, but the biggest thing we have to understand is we're all called to be a saint. And to do that, we can't take any shortcuts. If we're going to make it to heaven, we have to do all we possibly can. And so that means, you know, doing all the things that we are called to do. We have so many things going on here. We're called to do those things, whether it's mass attendance and doing those things, but whether it's going over and above that, taking part in so many of the other activities and the ministries that we have here. So I hope you're doing that.
To learn more about the lives of the saints, we have formed, um, and you can look at different videos there. We now, on our, our parish app, we have today's saint, a today's saint button, where you can look at the saint of the day and read about their life so we can do those things. So there are so many opportunities to learn about the saints so that we can live our lives as they did. And maybe someday, whether it's just because we're in heaven and not just because we're in heaven, that would be unbelievable, but because we're in heaven with God or because we've actually been canonized, we too can all become saints. So let's all strive to do that. May God bless you all.